After seven months of intense competition, the NBL title will be decided in today's grand final shootout between the league's newest club, the Southeast Melbourne Magic, and one of the oldest, the Melbourne. Today we'll decide who is the champion team for season 1992. Another fantastic crowd here at Flinders Park this afternoon. We've had two crowds in excess of 15,000, and we're not far away from that mark again as we take a look at the two games decided so far in this grand final series. Game one was a week ago. Melbourne Tigers blitzed the Magic by 18 points, 116 to 98. Copeland and Gaze were the stars on that night. On Friday night, well, it was turned all around when the South East Melbourne Magic got some revenge. They came the Melbourne Tigers, 115 points to 93. Bowling and Ronaldson, 22 points apiece. Gaze, 32 for the Tigers. Sibley, 15. And Simmons, Darren Lucas, gee, has he got fire in his eyes? Looking at Gaze. It's going to be an interesting contest as the afternoon wears on. Plenty of heavy stuff in game two. There's Copeland. Off the board. So a good start for Copeland. Four points all. Good offensive execution that time. That was a set play that freed Copeland for a uh, running lay-in. Melbourne, when their execution goes very, very good, that gives them an advantage because they always can pull out a few one-on-one -on -one plays if they need to as well. Rose. Loses possession. Here comes Gaze. Two on one. Gaze to Copeland. No, Gaze all the way himself. Six to four. Tigers lead. Good defensive pressure from Melbourne. Robert Rose, couple of handling of the ball. Very loose. This time he swoops in and finds the basket. So he's made up for his mistake. So an opportunity squandered that time. That was a good shot. But it didn't go down. Copeland for two. And another foul on John Dorge. So this is crucial. John Dorge in big foul trouble. Just going for the block, Copeland rose above him. You'll see him get him on the arm. There it is. Well, it's in the line. There's no doubt he got him on the arm. Doors goes out. This is a blow to very early on to the Magic. 7-15 remaining to play in the first quarter. Averaging 14 points this year. Parkinson for a three-point monster. Misses, but the rebound, Bolden. Has the ball wonderfully tucked away by Sibley. Great work from Sibley. Copeland to Simmons, who jams it in for two. Great, a great game on our hands. Less than a minute left in the second quarter. Tigers would love a basket here. Sibley sets the screen on Lucas. Gaze for three. Gets nothing but fresh air. Lindsay Gaze screaming for a foul. Again, not forthcoming. Lucas to Bolin. Bolin for two and draws the foul. Pass Gaze very cleverly. Misses the two-point shot. Sibley and Dorge go at it. Here's a chance for Gaze. Easy land for Andrew Gaze. No slap down by Robert Rose, but no question about that call. That was definitely goaltending. Great athleticism from Rose. Spectacular stuff, but two points count for Andrew Gaze. Here's a replay. <laughs> Pretty obvious goaltending, that one. 52 to 50, Magic League. Good afternoon. He's doing so many other things. Stealing Dorge with the big breakaway steal. Hills as usual. Sydney. John Dorch coming out that threat to steal the ball again. Lucas does an excellent job. Dorch blocks Gaze, but it comes out to Simmons. Lucas doing a great job not letting Gaze through. Three pointer by Whitehead is an air ball. And saved marvelously by Sibley. Now two on one. Copeland! Sensational work from Sibley. Copeland didn't let him down. was have had opportunities to really get a major league. They haven't capitalized on them, and they couldn't rue that when the final bell rings. Copeland, wonderful skills. So a two-point lead, 8.45 remaining to play. I don't think you want your seven-foot center taking an 18-footer. Chance for the Tigers to tie it again. In fact, they've hit the lead with that three-pointer from Stephen Whitehead. Tigers by one. point shot it's a difficult one but oh that's class rose up to 22 points boy you wouldn't find that in a textbook of who will be the money man parkinson foul it's on copeland well parkinson gets a chance to get one on one from the foul line. scores tied andrew parkinson at the free throw line for the magic His 
first score for the game. A very handy one to get. Steve Coffino on the sideline. The Melbourne Tigers, he's, Lindsey Gay said if there's any time for us to execute a play, it's right now. They're going to run a play called inversion, and if they don't get that, then they're going to run their regular stuff. Magic by two, 88-86. Simmons with the ball for Melbourne. Whitehead. Gaze is the man they'll be looking for. He has the ball. There's Copeland. Jump shot. Rebound, Dorge. Being double teamed. Fouls called. John Dorge at the line. Australian player. Oh, pressure. And makes the shot. Magic by three. Well, is this a big point coming up? This is be very, very handy. Make it a four-point buffer. Misses! Rebound Simmons. Oh, well, that would have been a crucial point. Now a chance for the Tigers. There's the clock on your screen. 89-86. Onus is on Melbourne. Gays for three! Rebound Dorge! The Magic will try and waste some... They're only shooting 68%. I'd like to call forward David Stern, Commissioner of the NBA, to make a presentation for the Grand Final Series Most Valuable Player. Bruce, come back. I know a little something about number 32. <coughs> and you're, you did a great honor to that number 32. You had a great series, I know. Congratulations to you, the most valuable player of the championship series. <laughs> 